Well, last week, just as I was about to build the burner assembly, my client uh, texted me and said, hey, I want three burners instead of two. So I had to drop everything, go get more hardware, and come back and uh, build a new manifold for the three burner system instead of the two burner system. And that's where we are now. Now that looks like the right spacing, but to make absolutely certain, I'm going to fab up the straps that these will be mounted to. Now before I cut those out, I'm going to drill holes in them. I went and got the quarter inch uh, pipe tap, so uh, that way I'll tap those threads and then the nipples will actually screw in to the strap mounts. Okay, so I'm not afraid to admit this is the second time I'm tapping these holes because the first time I did it, they were not square. But having them in the drill press will make them square. I wasn't really happy with the amount of air gap I had on the side, so I ground these out. And now I'm going to weld the, the plates onto the bells, and then we'll work on the orifices. Now I have my exact space where the burners are going to be. I'm going to mark those off and burn the holes in to mount them. Now the last step in this process is to take this, a .035 welding, MIG welding contact tip, and tap threads in the, in the end of this and, and screw it in. Then we'll put it all together and put some gas to it, light it up. Okay, so one thing I did was I ground a flat spot on the top because it was kind of crowned. Now I'll center punch a hole and we'll drill it in the drill press. Did I mention that I've never done this before? Anyway, it's all built, so I got it clamped to the table. We're going to fire it up, see how it works. Wish me luck. Now here you can see the burners are working but they're not blasting out like they should be. And that is because the regulator I have here is uh, one that I scavenged off a of barbecue. I need to get a higher pressure regulator before this is gonna work right. So this thing's almost done. The last thing we're going to have to do is uh, take the plasma cutter and burn holes in the top of the oven part to uh, accept the burner assembly. I'm also going to have to drill and tap two holes to secure the burner assembly to the box. Alright, this is very close to complete. All we, can, all we need to do is mark for the cutouts in the bricks install the burner assembly, and then uh, we can fire it up. Here we have the fire bricks installed with the manifold passing through it. So all that remains is drill and tap the holes in the top of the box and tack that mounting plate to the burners and then we can go ahead and test fire it with the cheesy little regulator that I do have. It's not going to be the best, but it is going to at least burn. And by some stroke of luck, the high pressure regulator actually showed up early. So I was able to uh, put it together, try it out, and get it included into this video. Okay, 
And here you can see the first burner is burning pretty clean. That's looking all right. Um, but when we end up uh, turning on the other two burners, uh, they're not burning as nice. Anyway, this is not an insurmountable problem, and there were a few hiccups expected. So once we get the air-fuel mixture dialed in, this thing's going to work just fine, and those guys are going to love it. Anyway, that's all for this week. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.